names. I am the CEO of Walmart. Fear me. Welcome to the Budgetless Podcast. I'm Torin, the technical director. I'm joined today by Brian, the creative director, and Sam, the chief fun officer. Well, howdy! <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, okay. Starting off, I always forget I have a mouse. I keep using a trackpad. Um, <laughs> Let's get down to business to, to defeat, defeat the, the Huns. Huns. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> Okay, so looking over the last year, starting with teleportation mischief, okay, that little thing, <laughs> that whatever whatever that thing was, yeah. you know, it was really it was like it was at the time pretty proud cool. of it. I think <laughs> less teleportation, <laughs> more more mischief. mischief. <laughs> That's our motto going into twenty twenty, guys. Yeah, yeah but. Just over the last year, we've gotten so much better with higher standards. It's just insane. Yeah, like, we've definitely true. gotten it's better true. with a like bigger with every film, yeah. pretty much. Standout ones, in my opinion, the two abandonment shorts that we did. Um, Not the like, first one. The first one was all right. <laughs> the first one and just the idea, but the second one, the second I like that. The one. second one's pretty good. I Minus like my acting. Minus your <laughs> acting. You will always feel bad about your own acting. That Probably. Is the curse of being an actor. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be an actor, though. <laughs> I'm the technical director. I'm not supposed to act. That's not really his thing. <laughs> yeah. But also, um... Uh... Magni versus Narfi. Oh, that was just a fun shoot. I would. It was fun. It was a, it was a lot of fun shooting it. I yeah. will say, I think there were some issues... On like the pacing side, for sure. Yeah. The first whole minute of the film, I feel like yeah. it. It just sort of ha while we were filming, it just sort of all organically just kind of yeah. developed on its own. Originally, it, the script was super <laughs> like it was set in super stone. basic. Yeah, yeah, super basic kind of stuff. Um, and then it changed. Then we brought this guy. In. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then this guy started working with us. That's actually when we picked you up. Right, yeah, it right is. after that. Because there's actually some film. footage where I was supposed to be acting, and it, uh, we never ended up using it because we switched actors midway through. Those were some good shots, so I'm super oh, disappointed yeah. we didn't get to use those because those were yeah. really, really good. Especially whenever we got the, the lighting. Yeah, the coming lighting through the coming trees. And hitting the white hair wig <sighs> that the we had. That was a, that was fantastic. It's really too bad we didn't get to yeah. use those. Um, but. The, I think the issue came from, like, I guess we didn't get long enough shots. Um, yeah. So, that when whenever... I don't remember which one of you edited it. I did. Yeah, you he, edited, I did he, whenever edited you went in to edit the, yeah. the film, like, all the shots were really short, and so it was just... Yeah. It was and too fast. Even for the slow-paced parts, yeah, and it was for, just... From a cinematography standpoint, um, something I want to avoid as we keep moving forward and keep getting better, we did so much of that improv... That my camera work was bad just because Shoddy. I didn't yeah. know what the actors were gonna do. Right. Um, and and he, like it, it wasn't even so much the actors doing improv; it was just the camera work itself yeah. was improv. Yeah, everything was improv. So, so there were like moments where I was looking at the wrong thing because I hadn't caught on what was going on yet. I think from this point forward, um, what we did with always the same when it came to camera work was a good model. We scout everything out, um, and then, like, take a few minutes to, to figure out where we want the camera to go, where what we want, we want it to do. Yeah, right. what the actor's gonna be doing so we know ahead of time what I to do I think our greatest limitation with Always the Same was the quality of the boom we were using. Yeah. Like, we couldn't move it too much, so we couldn't get very it's a many dynamic piece of shots. equipment from a public high school. Right, right. It's, it's not bound to be bad. Position. Oh yeah, definitely. I yeah. I definitely think sound equipment is something yeah. we need to focus on yeah. getting our hands on. Cuz I really want um to be able to like go to a theater, maybe just plug in my not really, but like the theoretically, if I was able to walk into a theater, plug in and play my uh like a new film, right? Like uh any of our new projects You'd want up, it to sound good. I I would want to be able to hear all the yeah. nice details, right. all the bass to it. So I, it would be nice, this is a really lofty goal, but it would be incredibly 
awesome if we could shoot somehow in 7.1 surround sound. Oh, that'd be grand. Oh, around. Oh. Wait, no, no. You, you do it. Oh, around you. I don't think Audacity has the power to do that. <laughs> Probably we can not. only hope. Um, uh... I, I think always the same was was a really big achievement though on yeah, the it was a milestone for sure. Um, yeah. Multiple reasons. One, the cinematography was really good. Thank you. <laughs> um, the the shots we got, especially in the alley, yeah. and just the the whole first minute or two was just fantastic. Um, the lighting was really good. The way it came through the alley. Yeah. The the way the you were backlit, but you could still see... The first movie. shot in the whole film. One of the best shots. Yeah. Um, it, it just framed everything so nicely. The contrast was there. We need to do more like more stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think the next project that we're doing, the one that we have it all in mind right now, uh, definitely has a lot of potential with that. Definitely. Yeah. Expe especially if we can get a good spot to film it. Yeah, if we can get a good spot and we get some solid actors that really can bring to life these characters, this next story will definitely be above everything else we've done. Probably. Oh, yeah. I think so. Uh, I think that's definitely possible. As long as we can keep that... If, as long as we can just make sure the script is uh, at its, like, most limit, basically. I think it definitely needs a, another draft or two. That's what I was going to do. I'm um, just going to take this next week to just... I like the concepts there. Yeah. And, like, the, the characters are there. I think they need more motivation, and I think, like, the logic, the internal logic of the script needs to be worked on a little more, like, why certain characters are in certain places. The... I don't want to give away too much, I don't know if... Uh, we are going to yeah. reveal it later, but yeah. it's just a bit too much. To we can talk about, like, the premise of it. Right. Um, the, the beginning... Um, when the characters show up at the location that um, they they show up at, I feel like the uh, <laughs> man. I have to be really really vague. Um, when when they show up there, only a certain number sh get to go into the place, um, and I feel like the way that's handled is a little sloppy. But that's fine. It's a it's a first draft, I suppose. Yeah. Um, for the most part, I'd say it's it's a it's a pretty good concept. Just needs a little bit more time to do. Again, it was uh, this is before we started recording. It it was very bare bones. Everything was compressed. Right. Things were left out, and so now that we actually aren't being compressed down to five minutes, we can actually expand it and do whatever with right. it now. And I'm gonna have to go through and I'll probably just end up making a whole new document for it, uh, making sure that it is up to par with how I want it to be because with Lurk uh, which by the way is still being worked on uh, I've rewritten that thing at least four times now and stories have changed characters have gone out the window uh, in t the, literally the previous version from what it is now was a horrible like uh like, I don't know, what's a good word? Abomination. Abomination, yeah. Abom <laughs> abomination. That's how I would describe some of my works. So. Uh, yeah, it was a horrible <laughs> abomination. Yeah, it was a horrible abomination of all of the previous ideas for the for Lurk. Mess. And I decided to wipe everything clean, start new, same, like, idea I had with it at the beginning, and then work from there. And I uh, think I did a pretty good job with it. Because with... Those stories that we're working on, like I'm starting to write uh, My Talking Car, which I completely overhauled from its original story. Like, it's, it's kind of, it gets kind of intense. But um, this next year, and hopefully moving forward, instead of holding ourselves to like a video every month, like but we did this last year. This last year was definitely a good challenge because yeah. we can hone our skills. Yeah, it gave us the ability to learn, but moving forward, I think we are in a place where we can wait and make a quality film. Right now, um, the, I think uh, having a film every month was good, but 
right now it's not like we're making any money yeah, off of the films so there's no reason to push ourselves from this point forward and to actually, have a deadline yet we actually were discussing this we aren't going to be doing a one a month thing anymore Unless it is like a side video, kind of like what this is. They'd be um, short little yeah, like, yeah. goofy stuff. Like maybe yeah. if we continue shooting podcasts, that's what yeah, that would come yeah. out once a month. But um, I, I think it would be, it's, it's more important and it would be awesome if we could focus on big projects. That's what we're If we could start yeah. doing like on a grander scale yeah. kind of stuff. Um, one thing that, that brings me to another really good topic uh, one thing I'd really love to do, one thing you guys did um, bringing me on, and one thing I'd like to expand on is expanding our crew. Yeah, so, like, for sure. yeah. The three of us aren't here for money. It's yeah. budgetless films for a reason. Yeah. It started because I was like, what, would what, a, was, what was it, 2016? <laughs> I was a freshman in high school, and I was like, I want to make short films on YouTube. Right, and I wanted a separate channel for it. It's like, almost been four I don't years. Have Goodness money. Gracious. I don't have money, so budgetless films. Right, so that's where it came from. And then I brought Brian on because he also wanted to do films. I, I was, was like, I already have this channel created. Let's just share it. Um, and the it just went on from there. The reason the three of us are here is because of a passion for filmmaking. Yeah, right. You are here because you love the craft. You're here. Why are you... No. <laughs> you love the craft. I'm here because I love the craft. I'm sure there's more people like it. Um, what I'm hoping to find, though, is people who love the craft in different areas. Yes. So... I mean, that's... I mean, he's good at, like, the public relations kind of side, like, you know, getting all the nice, uh, nice-looking titles, YouTube uh, yeah. stuff. He's also, also good at the warm. social media. Yeah. Also, um... All the production, all the all the like this whole setup, all me. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the easiest only. people to find would be will, will be actors. I don't know about good actors; they're kind of more difficult to for find. for our area. It will be easier to find actors than right. anything else. Well, a and actors, everybody wants to act, yeah. right? Everyone wants to be on the screen because yeah. that's exposure. Um, everyone wants to be the new, right? You know. Yeah. But the the tough thing will be finding people. That have a skill set to work behind the camera, or off Which, to the side. Um, I I mentioned before off camera. I have a friend. I'm not going to name her. Yeah. Um, because we don't have permission. <laughs> she has, um, taken classes in theatrical makeup, and I I, I think uh, I talked to her, and she said she'd be willing to come to the next shoot that we do. So. That is that's exciting because it's our first step in branching out to other fields. Um, we can make our characters look better, you know. Like in always the same, there's a shot where it's really close up of me, and you can see like a white head on my chin, <laughs> and it's just it disgusts. Me. With this, just we have so a chance know, to get so rid you know, of stuff like that. It wasn't distracting to everyone else, right? I didn't even notice it to be honest. Yeah. It, it catches your eye though if you're if, if you're looking for it. Yeah. Um, with, with, uh, theatrical makeup, um, we'd be able to avoid stuff like that entirely, you know? Yeah. Um, nobody has truly perfect skin, I don't think, I hope, I, I, uh, I it'd be a really high bar <laughs> for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, but in movies, they tend to sort of mask everything. Yeah, for sure. Because they have professionals who can take care of that. I'm, I'm hoping to expand out into that area. And that's just the first thing. You know, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, maybe we can find. I know at the high school that you're going to. I'm not going to name that. Um, I mean, I'm 18. It doesn't really matter. Just right. Kidding. Just kidding. But, you it's know. bad philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> but the high school you're going to, um, there is a theater program. I yeah. think. Yes, there is. Okay. Um, that would be great. To yeah. to maybe look into maybe see if there are people who are interested. You definitely should um, contact like any teachers or whatever. Let them know that you're looking for people who are willing to act for films yeah. and stuff. Because that right there, yeah. our, that not only is that exposure, but it gets yeah. us a possibility of getting like maybe two, our, three our actors. Our main issue with finding people to like work on individual projects is that it's all volunteer. Right. It's vo volunteer. which is why volunteer. I'm volunteer. Volunteer work. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's all volunteer work, so we can't Besides we don't have food. revenue. We can't right. pay people. Which is why I go back to my point earlier. We need to find people that have a love for the craft. Yeah. Because nothing is going to motivate people more than a passion for budgetless films, for yeah. making films. Um, I don't even think exposure is going to be a big enough motivator. I, I, I mean, like, for actors, maybe? But for anyone else, the, the only thing that's going to motivate people to want to join us is um, the chance to work on something really cool, you yeah. know? Because you don't see that in this area a lot. Right. Most, most like, of it's like broadcast. Like the and... program in the area, you don't really get to just go and help out. Should we bleep that one out? Should we bleep out? I mean, everyone knows we're in Arkansas anyways. It's true. It's Our true. last film confirmed where we were. So, um... Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. I, but, like, there's not a lot of opportunity to just go in and work on something in this area. Like, slowly, like, with the film festivals around here. They'll probably build up a yeah, lot of uh, it's more It's slowly stuff. building up in our area, but right now, there's not a lot. So if we can find people who like, hey, we want to make something great. And if they also have that desire to help out, like, those are the people we want. Right. Um, there, so I'm homeschooled, um, but... Hey, same here. I'm the only one that's not yeah. homeschooled. Oh, nerd! So. You're a nerd! <laughs> nerd! Um, but, uh, a year or two ago, um, I took a theater... I, 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 I joined a theater program. Um, I'm not gonna name it, but... Uh, for... <laughs> that's the reoccurring <laughs> joke. <Anonymity. laughs> um, I... The, the theater teacher was actually pretty knowledgeable in the subject, and there were a couple of kids in my class that were, uh, for their age especially, really good actors. Um, I'm going to try to maybe get in contact with the teacher I had at the time and see if maybe he can... he If he has any contacts, he could reach out to us with them. Yeah. Um, if he could maybe give me some contact information on the classmates I had... That would be awesome, because I know there were some really good actors in there. So, um, that's also something that I'm looking into prospectively. Like, uh, it's 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 just hopeful, you know. Because for the most part, I'd assume most of the crew stuff can be done just by the three of us. It'd be nice to have like you know. Yeah, it'd be nice to have more crew. One, two extra people maybe, but for the most part, we're probably going to be the most hands-on deck for people. a while. Yeah. For a long time. It's going to be us handling all the sets, all the lights, yeah, all the cameras. It would be nice yeah. to find more people that know how to use the equipment. Yeah. Yes. We're not jumping out of anything that we can't accomplish. Everything that we're wanting to do, we have the technical ability to accomplish. Right. It all comes down to getting more people. The, really. the more people we have, um, the more... We have a lot of equipment. Um, I managed to get my hands on a lot of equipment. Torin and Brian both uh, have a lot of equipment. Problem is, we have six hands. We have a total of six hands for this equipment. Um, that's not enough, yeah. you know, to, to <laughs> pick up. We can't utilize all of it. Right. And all, all at once, that is. We yeah. have one other guy who acts. Yeah. Um, and he's but, a pretty good actor. He's right. Pretty good, yeah. But he's that's a total of four that. people yeah. in our crew, you know, one of which doesn't handle the equipment. So we definitely either, need to branch out. Either we... Gra either we branch out, teach people how to use the equipment, or we end up just finding mm -hmm. someone who just happens to know how to use the equipment. I got a I, couple friends that are interested. They're not very experienced. But if we bring them on, yeah, we probably we're bringing them, them on like, to help teach them and help them learn if they really want to do it. Well, and considering we're not paying people, I don't think experience needs to be a qualifier <laughs> yet. Yeah. No, um, we would like it. That, that would be nice. The but... only qualifier is not to be clumsy. Right, yeah. you can't you break can't the equipment. You can't break um, our eight hundred dollar equipment. <laughs> in in the case of uh, you guys' equipment, um, you spend a lot of money on it. Yeah. In the case of mine, there's no way I'm getting my hands on something <laughs> like that again. Yeah. So I got quite the haul. <laughs> That is that that's, is definitely that's, never going to happen. That's again. an understatement, right something, there. Something something I want to get to add to our our equipment is an anamorphic lens, because oh, that would just be that would be mm. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
They're so expensive. We, we need to get more lenses. So just expensive. To... <laughs> One thing that has been on our side, I think, this entire time is definitely luck. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, and things working. The out. only reason budgetless films is able to exist is because we're able to get our hands on equipment that, like, the yeah. average person couldn't. Yeah. We know people that will help us achieve our goals. Right. Like, my family will pitch in for certain items that I yeah. can't quite get. It's like, you, your job helps you get equipment. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, your family's a lot like my family in wanting to help you achieve your goals. So, it's just like that combination. We get some really good stuff oh, right, yeah. that we can utilize. We, luck is definitely something I've noticed because I'm like, ooh, it's very handy that a guy I met in second grade came back on and right. yeah. met him and he's... And just kind of the same yeah, realm. I wasn't stuff. in contact with you for like the longest time. Didn't I reach out to you guys and was like, "Hey, if you guys are doing anything, no, I, I'm uh, like stuck at home all the time." Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were on Discord. Uh, I found you on Discord, and um, no, actually on Instagram. You know, we, yeah, we found each right. other on Instagram, and then you invited me to a Discord server, and then from there you got your equipment. And you were like, "Dude." To we gotta use yeah. this. Cause it I, was, cause I, I, I got all this. I got all this acoustic foam, and I I filled the walls of my room yeah. up with it. I I had so much more. I didn't know what to do with it, so I'm like, hey, I know a guy who could probably use it. So I called you up, and you're like, all right, I'll come and nab it. He I really um, talked for like twenty. Yeah, minutes. right. He comes over, and he's just discussing with me what he's been doing for the last three years. Yeah. Um. The, you know, after that, I was, like, intrigued, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. uh, we just, I just joined, I guess. Yeah, it was you, great. you just kind of slipped in. Yeah, I hijacked the whole thing. you added, because <laughs> when you, when, when you, <laughs> Sam, Sam Films, that's the new name. Sam Films, <laughs> CEO of Walmart <laughs> Films. <laughs> I'm the CEO of Walmart, yeah. gentlemen. When, when, when you joined on, you started um, pushing us to reach for a higher caliber than what we were originally. Because we were, me and Brian were of the mindset of we got to hone our skills first. And then you came in and you were like, yes, yeah, skills are great, but challenge your skills. Always put your skills on the line. I'm of the mindset that no matter what your condition um you never truly have an excuse to do anything in poor quality. Like, literal yeah. poor quality, like video quality, sometimes you don't have control over it. How, yeah. Like, in our case, we do. Yeah. But, we didn't originally. Right. We were shooting on a T2Y and a Kodak Pixbro. But in in everything <laughs> not, you not, do, I mean, you, you can 100% use every skill you have to the best of your ability. Is that my camera? Pause the podcast. I was going to make a joke, but you interrupted, like... <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Brian's camera died. What a, what a nerd. What a nerd. I, where, where, what were we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> um, I have completely forgotten. Let's uh, start a new subject. Luck. Luck. Um, I think we were well past that. Yeah. <laughs> a bit. Okay. How about... Um, and the next year, the three of us going off to college. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about right. how that's going to change things. That is a, that's actually a really good yeah. thing. I hadn't even thought about yeah. that. Um... I'm going to Missouri. I just got accepted to a college. Nice. Um, the the college I'm going to, there's a work study program, so I don't have to pay. Nice. I, I just nice. work. Um, issue is that's two hours away. Yeah. I'm going to be hours? three hours away from here. He's right. going to stay here. I'm going like forty minutes away. Yeah. So. We that can all meet up issue. here. Yeah, right. No, it's, but like a weekend. it's not. When would we be able to schedule times yeah. when we're all That's, off? Yeah. yeah, it'd be like probably like three films a yeah. year if we did do collaborative stuff. However, I have this idea of different branches. So he's going uh, south. Right. I'm just gonna stay around here, um, except it's you know forty minutes that way. But I, I think I'm going north. Missouri is north. Missouri is north. <laughs> yeah, I got it right. Directions Woo! with Sam. If you're going into the college that I think you're going to, um, then it wouldn't be that much of an issue just to drive down like for a day or two. I mean, you probably the, have family the big here. It's issue. mostly the scheduling. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's going to be the scheduling the, that's the, the issue. The tightness of the scheduling at that college. My brother's been going there for a year and a half now. 
um, and he can, in the last semester, he's gotten to come home twice. So the the scheduling is a huge issue. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I'm going to fit around that. But our, because we're going to college for, Phil, I don't know what you're going to college for. But... Um, I'm going to get an MBA and then minor in media. So that should be helpful if, for some reason, this whole film dream doesn't work out. An MBA is useful for just about anything. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, basically, our general plan that I've come up with is we have two branches. One for the college he's going to, one that I'm going to. We could probably pick some up, uh, pick up some people who are relatively, uh, uh, you know, passionate about the craft, right? You're right? And I'd say probably in the first few months we could pick up just like me and two other people, maybe. That's an interesting mindset to go into. Exactly. It with. Yeah. And here's what I think: if he can get two people to join his kind of branch and two people to join my branch. That's six people, not including you. I don't know if you're going to be going into like. No, yeah, I'm not going to be yeah, friends exactly. with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so we can hope. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, any, anyways, my general idea was we could maybe schedule out those two branches to have two films be under their control, two films be under their control. They'd be completely at their mer. Those like you know they'd be working on those. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Anyways, um, Brian's camera died again. What a fool. <laughs> In my defense, it's probably actually a microwave. Foolish. <laughs> so Foolish. Foolish. Okay, now we're down to one camera. <laughs> yep. And it one... looks so cool for like 25 And two people. <laughs> I'm at... No. <laughs> we got that battery charger. We had a really nice setup for like 25 minutes. That's probably not done. <laughs> These things charge. This really is the budgetless slow. film's way. This back to one camera. We had it looking so nice. The way the light is going behind my hand, it looks like I'm on the flash of a camera. <laughs> you, well, flattens the image. I mean, time. okay, we right. fixed the problem. We but did. now we have a new problem. Uh, we forgot where we were. <laughs> Again, college, oh, yeah, collage. Right. All right. I, I so. think it's an interesting mindset to. Uh, look at college instead of like just a gap in our time as like a recruitment period like yeah. to to gather take, take people behind it, our yeah. cause yeah yeah take advantage our, of, of our, our radicalistic <laughs> terrorism <laughs> also can't say that on the internet <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i can i mean you did so <laughs> i don't really have an argument um but it, it's it's interesting and I think it's a good idea. Back yeah. to you, Dave. No. <laughs> I'm Dave. Al also, He's Alex. Crap. <laughs> also, I'm John. Marston. <laughs> John. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, the two branch thing. Uh, we probably already talked about that. We did. Um, but then, like, maybe like do two videos for one branch, two videos for another that we're responsible for. It's up to them to come up with ideas, film it, and edit it, and basically those will be spread out throughout the year. That's four. Now, if we wanted to do one collaborative video between the two branches, we could also do that. Or maybe two collaborative videos. But yeah. And then, once we're all done with collage, we can four years later. merge... Possibly, yeah. honestly, well, because what will probably happen is right out of college, we'll have to get jobs in the industry itself instead of starting our own. Yeah, that... but if we can, I'd like to go ahead and start our own. Yeah, if we're at on that the point, side, yeah. exactly. Because I'm going for a business minor, so right. I'll have business knowledge. So if we can, I'll be a master of business. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> if you get a master's in business, you can actually get um, like a 100k job at Walmart straight in. I don't really want to work at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to work for budgetless films. I want to uh, avoid Walmart after... <laughs> it's okay, the last podcast yep. we did that happened like a million times. <laughs> Hits the door. <laughs> Shut, Shut up! up. 
Yeah, my loud dog. But uh, we, I work at I work at a Walmart currently, so uh, I will avoid it at all costs. We had a dog, but we were going to go grab lunch because he came over pretty early, uh, and we just kind of got stuff set up for today. Um, and then we played a bunch of Six, six Siege, <laughs> but we went to go grab lunch, and there was this my neighbor's dog like two doors down came up and was like, you know. Sniffing us like, hey, what's Hello, up? How you doing? I, th I think it freaked him out for a moment. I was like, oh, hey, what's up? Well, it didn't freak me out. I was just like, whose dog is that? <laughs> Where's that dog coming from? Yeah, it's definitely a a dog moment. A dog moment. It's a pure dog moment it's right true. there. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. Looking at college, it's like a chance to get better. It's not gonna. I don't yeah. want it to feel like it's hindering us at all. Yeah, and I think I mean, uh, honestly, <laughs> it's, it's um, supposed to help us. Both of the colleges that we're going to have film scene in your projects, where yeah. each person and can they're be, the best two yeah. in the state. Exactly, they're the best two in the state. So what would end up happening is, I don't know what your scene in your project would be, but I absolutely know what mine would be. Mine would be Descendants of the Oracle, and that one I had a lot of good ideas for. Um, I'm not going to start writing any scripts for it because I know I'm going to end up having to rewrite it anyways. <laughs> it's going to be rewritten a million times. <laughs> yeah. What you need to do when you go to that college is look specifically for like the best writer you can find. A, a really good writer would help the cause tremendously. Oh, yeah. Because um, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty good at writing and I like, um, I like writing. Uh, I can come up with a lot of good ideas too, like uh, for Bunker, um, which by the way well, don't spoil anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For Bunker, I the original concept was a really bad idea. Yeah, because it was one. The original thing it was, was for um, the film festival light this location. Yeah, so it was like you five had, minute maximum one location. Yeah, film. one location film, mm. and the only way you could tell the story is however you want. But using the lights kind of helped out. So it actually would end up happening. I'm looking at that camera, not this one. Oops. <laughs> You're looking at the camera that isn't recording. Yeah, I just realized that. I've been doing that this whole time. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just about one location and, um, you know, just use lights to help out. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Wanted to do it. Compressed a really good story down to... Well, it was basically a marble. Yeah. Uh, I was reading his script as he was making it, like, this will fit in five minutes. I'm like, dude, this is, like, a good idea. Let's but not it ruin does it. not fit in five minutes. You don't have time to build the yeah. tension or anything. Honestly, um, I'm thinking that whenever I rewrite the script, so it's, like, you know, the most modern version, I'm not working off of, like, a you know, bare bones project. Um, I'll probably uh, uncondense it as much as possible, get as much character development in there, because then that will help out the ending. Um, and I think I have this really cool idea I want to talk to you about after the podcast, because I don't want to spoil anything about it. Um, but it's a really cool idea, and I think you're going to like it. I better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he totally has a lot of power in this mm -hmm. company. I'm I, yes. I'm the CEO of Walmart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know what is so hard to understand about that. I'm the CEO. Yeah, because you know, Walmart. Budgetless Films is totally a company. Oh yeah, owned by Walmart, a non-incorporated company. Yes. Yes. Walmart company. <laughs> Just, CEO. If we never become incorporated, we never have to pay separate taxes. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, if everything is volunteer work, company that just is not incorporated. Is true. <laughs> if everything's volunteer work, I mean, what are they gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Pulling in billions of dollars, and it's just like <laughs> volunteer work. <laughs> Let's launder the money. <laughs> yeah. Someone's gonna look at this in like twenty years. And take these sound bites that Sam Let's says, launder the money. And they're gonna use it to try and run a smear campaign against us. <laughs> He wanted to launder money. And it's like, it's, 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 like, it's like Disney's threats. CEO in 20 years. He wanted to radicalize budgetless films. Is this a man you can trust? No. 
The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. More pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> Uh. Okay, so I think we've run out of things to talk yeah, about. Finally, did did we go through the whole guidelines? Yeah, we've thing? hit everything. Nice on this list. We went above what and was on this in list. In extreme fashion, too. Yeah, my dad. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely fashionable. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to wrap this up. Uh, Fails mo up. Mostly. Um, <laughs> It's going to be like the last segment or whatever. But for the next few projects, um, we have Bunker, which I just said the name of a while ago. Uh, story is going to be the main part about it, obviously. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. I don't know about length. Length is going to be very... It's going to be a longer thing that we've ever really done. Yeah, it's, um, the script is like... My hope is we can flesh long. it out enough to maybe cover an hour. That's what I'm hoping for as well yeah. because it's, it's a bit high up there. Such a long shoot. Oh yeah! By the way, we can, in one until, spot until the summer, we can only shoot on weekends. Yeah, that's right. Well, I mean, you guys work. I'm at school. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, so um, it's gonna get tight. Yeah, but I mean, we we, we can definitely pull it off. We even, can. It'd just be a. We just have to. Gotta get people who honestly are willing to yeah. do multiple. Like, we could multiple do. Weeks. Like, after we get finished writing it, we take a, a day or two, scout out how we're going to film it, yeah. get Which, everything way, prepared beforehand, we could shoot the whole thing in a weekend. We can. Yeah. That, that's and the thing. we can take all day, because we're shooting inside the whole time. We don't have to worry about daylight. Right, yeah. So we I mean, can shoot till, like, 6 in the morning to, like, And if the basement that we're going to on New Year's is good... Like, I haven't been there, like, I haven't been down there in years, but on New Year's, whenever we go, uh, to Missouri, we definitely need to, uh, we definitely need to check it out, because if it is, you know, spacious enough, we could definitely work with it. Only yeah. issue is, it has a lot of, uh, like, broken up stone ground, so we'd probably either need to just deal with that, I mean, tripods won't have an yeah. issue with that. Main issue would be... Uh, oh yeah, I need to go pick up the cots from people because, you know, cots for yeah. the bunker and all of that. Um. Oh, one more thing I'd like to cover before um, before we end um, is the issue of the age of our actors. Yeah. Um, one we're thing we've gone over before, right? No teenagers. The the staple of teenage um, short films. Is getting other teenagers to play roles. Yeah, because it's the only people we can get. <laughs> right. And it, yeah. it always seems shoddy. Yeah. I want to actually try and see if we can manage to get younger kids and adults. Like, in their 40s, maybe, to play certain roles. Um, I'd like to find people that fit a role. It's so, so unsettling to see, like... A cop character, you know, played by, played by a dude who's, you know, 17, yeah. has <laughs> scraggly beard hair, and. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see um, our casting. First, I'd like to actually developing a cast, develop a casting program that's any kind of decent. But um, yeah. second, I'd like to see it accurate, you know, represent the characters that we're casting for. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably see a lot more of that kind of stuff in college, mostly because it's a lot easier to branch out there. Along with that, um, for my senior project, Sense of the Oracle, which I don't know if I've talked a lot about, but it's a very interesting idea. You know a lot yeah, about it. We've, we've been workshopping this for like the last Wouldn't be much year. of an oracle if I didn't. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Matrix quote. Do you see what <laughs> we have to deal with? <laughs> But yeah, it's a. I've rewritten Descendants of the Oracle 12 times now. A lot. Yeah, and I've just. Too much. Too much. Oh, yeah. The story I, it's, has been, changed. It's, been, it's been in development since 2012. War has changed. 2012. I've, I wow. started writing it, and I came up with the idea on Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I've been helping him workshop the current version for like the last year and a half. Yeah. He's given me some cool tidbits here and there, and I've worked on... It's basically as in-depth as, like, The Witcher 3. Uh, at least I'm trying to. Uh, like, every aspect of it is fleshed out. If you if you feel it, um, I would love to take a look at the script. And I don't have a script for the new, newest version. <laughs> I was going to say, an, just tear you a new one. It's just an idea <laughs> right now. Most of it is just, like... In my head, ready to be. I'd love to loaded. I'd love to help. So yeah, it, it's a good project. I think. I think you. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like we just had a very southern style ending where we said we would end, and then we went on for like what ten more minutes. So let's yes. end let's... right now with no conclusion. <laughs> okay, this has been the Budgetless Podcast. If you would like to see more of what we've done. Make sure you click the end cards at the end of the video. And they're going to be covering your face. Yeah, it's like we're going to have one here, one over on Brian, and then our subscribe will be on Sam. Like, dude, just hold up like a sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you won't be able to see him winking. He's totally winking right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, leave a like, subscribe for what we're going <laughs> to be doing from now on, and I guess we'll see you later. Peace. See ya. That was pretty epic.